it's like one of the questions that came in is saying why do i cry when i'm angry mm not everybody cries when they're angry but a, a, a large amount of people do so if stuff like that is that how do you even is the reasoning the same for every person who cries when they're angry or is it different so crying is interesting because um crying is conveying helplessness or crying is a call for help now helplessness we usually associate with sadness or grief but anything can make you helpless any strong emotion can make you helpless and so your your brain doesn't really divide between the final outcome if you're feeling helpless it will trigger that crying response so if you you could be helpless out of sadness you could be helpless out of laughter you could be helpless out of happiness any time you're overwhelmed by emotion to an extent that you can't make decisions anymore you start crying because it's somebody come and help me so anger can also make you feel helpless and so you'll cry so what about people who don't so i why i brought that up is it's an interesting one right because you know you there's always that i go back to college you would have people who would say but but i don't cry mm um so the threshold is that a threshold piece or is that in some cases it's just not something which really applies to one individual because like i i'm someone who will cry for the most random things <laughs> not necessarily for things people assume that i would cry for Hmm. Um, like a huge loss might not make me cry, right. but something which people would look at, okay, that's not that deeply impactful. Would would make me cry. So I, I I'm on that spectrum of things, and I've always wondered, does that make me less emotionally connected to to bigger things and more emotionally connected to really tiny things? Yeah. Um, is the wiring different? So. over analyze at your own risk <laughs> first of all <laughs> you cannot uh, tell anybody not to analyze now we have enough information thanks to yeah. thanks to everything which we been reading about that's the thing so when we when we read about things like this hmm. uh, we have to be very patient before jumping into conclusions yeah. but at the same time it is very interesting and we are all narcissistic we want to know we want to be talked about we want to understand ourselves more nothing yeah. wrong in that yeah my take on this is that different people will have will experience that sense of loss of control at different things mm. so somebody who has been through a business sold a business doing doing something professionally has a loss they've been through it before they know how to deal with that but something new something that they cannot control even if it is momentarily would probably trigger a tear for that one moment because it signals transient helplessness somebody who is uh, trading for the first time and they lose their first lakh for example yeah they might cry yeah for yeah. sure they'll think of all the things they could have bought with that money and all that but then somebody who's experienced 30 years trading they know that these things happen yeah so that ability to make that jump is a learned one so the more information you have or rather as you get older you have more you have less reasons to cry for everything which also would mean by kids cry a lot more when they are like say toddlers babies because the yeah. tiniest thing is a, they don't have memory of past experience yeah everything will make them feel helpless yeah. so feeling a little hungry will make them feel helpless yeah. so right from that point Uh, not getting a toy not getting more screen time they are constantly feeling helpless they have no control <laughs> <laughs> and i feel the most the interesting part about this is that it's also like these are smaller triggers right i mean we will we'll cry for different things you will you will get angry for different things um you you will you will see how people laugh and you will I think we generalize a lot of these emotions, mm -hmm. but like you said, you you shouldn't over generalize, but you shouldn't go too. You shouldn't over analyze as well, yeah. because you can go really into like random territory. For more insights like this, make sure you check out the full episode.